and you know what is the main uh, there are so many things in english grammar but the main thing is parts of a speech okay which we i am going to start today what is parts of a speech parts of in speech it includes nouns pronouns verbs adverbs adjectives preposition conjunction and interjection so these each part of a speech is required it's actually when we make a sentence every sentence is having group of words and each word belongs to these parts of a speech it can be noun pronoun verbs adverbs when we mix with these all the words then only we can make a sentence we cannot make a sentence based on only noun we need a verb to make a sentence so what is a sentence sentence is a group of words which make a complete sense so for making any sentence we need uh, some parts of a speech they, they are for example here noun pronouns verbs adverbs adjectives preposition conjunctions and interjections these are eight part of a speech which we should know very well when we uh, learn the english grammar what is noun definitely if i ask your name you will tell your name and what is your name that is a noun so nouns are words that are used to name people places animals ideas and things nouns can be classified into two main categories what are two main common nouns proper nouns but there are many other uh, categories or types of nouns are also they are i'll teach one by one all so first what is common noun common nouns are generic like a ball car stick etc and proper nouns are more specific like aligarh ahmed the son etc what is uh, for example she bought a pair of shoes a pair of shoes what is that it's a thing so his he is my brother brother is a person these are a pair of shoes brother these are common noun it can be any shoes but when i talk about a particular shoes about a particular company then it becomes proper noun for example if i say i bought a pair of shoes from puma so what is puma it's proper noun he is my brother his name is ahmed brother brother can be yours brother can be mine brother can be anyone else but if i talk about a particular person when then it is if i say my brother name is ahmed or his name is ahmed then it is proper noun ahmed is proper noun this is my school or this is my institute which institute gravity classes what is gravity classes it's a proper noun and a school or institute can be anyone okay so these are similar things when there are they are the similar then in as a in a common way then it is common noun for example a school a school can be any but when we point out to a particular school with the particular name and proper noun we always starts we always write with capital letters now what is collective noun the a collective noun represents a group of individuals things or animals for example family army flock litter fleet etc what is fleet fleet of ship uh then uh, me can collective noun you can understand that collective noun can be the collection of things collection of uh na the names or the name of uh, a collective noun represents a group of individual things or animals it's a collection of person places 
or things it could be according to that we divide it okay now abstract noun what is abstract noun a noun referring to an idea quality emotion feeling or a state of being for example anger plan pride honesty existence fear etc now noun can be countable or uncountable also what is countable which you can count a countable noun is a noun for the things which can be counted like you can count cat you can count man when we when we count the man in 1 2 3 it they will be men then it means it will be in plural form so the noun is having two forms also singular and plural then flower watch watch mobile etc what is uncountable noun uncountable noun these are uh, for the things which cannot be counted for example um, now what is material noun for uh, uncountable noun it can be rice which you cannot count it can be water can you count water no you can't so that is uncountable noun then material noun the names used to mention materials of subs or substances which are made up of and can be perceived by our senses are material nouns for example gold aluminum iron plastic cement etc what is concrete noun the names used for the materials or the things which we have physical they, which they have physical existence or that materials are tangible in nature are known as concrete nouns for example table television laptop mobile phones there are many new mobile phones launched last month so what is a uh, concrete noun here mobile phones now i'll i'll ask few questions based on different kinds of nouns how many kinds of nouns name them now you know how many kind of noun we have studied eight kind of noun uh, first one is proper noun common noun collective noun abstract noun material noun countable noun uncountable noun and concrete noun so here are if uh, nouns are of two kinds four kinds eight kinds five kinds which one you will point out what is your answer eight kinds and this question was asked in 2006 and 7 okay then we live in india which word is a proper noun in this the word which is written in capital letter that is india what a great idea he cried which word is an abstract noun here idea because you cannot see the abstract noun is that noun which you cannot see you can only feel okay so my family supports me which word is a collective noun here family because family is a group of people they may here in the family who comes father mother sister brother aunt uncle aunt grandfather grandmother so this is the family where family is the collection of people so that is collective noun then beauty does not need ornaments which word is an uncountable noun of course beauty because that is beauty you cannot count it okay how many students are in your class which word is a countable noun here students there are 40 students there are 5 students there are 30 students so students are countable noun then there are many few there are many new mobile phones launched last month which word is a concrete noun as i told you earlier it's a mobile phones the noun form of the fly is the noun is having the particular form also what is for fly uh, the form of the fly is here it is flight because flying flew flown these three are verbs kinds of verbs but diff, uh, different uh, uh, but here flight is the 
form of noun and it this question was asked in 2012 and 13. Now, change the following word into an abstract noun. Which word you have to change into abstract noun? That is a strong. Strength, heart, weak, strangeness. Four words are given there. You have to choose one the correct answer and that is strength. And this question was asked in 2015 and 16. So, this is uh, the one part we have finished that is noun. What is next? The second one is the second part of a speech that is pronoun. What is pronoun? I think from class 1 or uh, from UKG you always study that uh, noun, pronoun, verb, adverb. So, what is pronoun? Pronoun is a word which is used in place of noun. So, the pronoun, pronouns are also having different kinds. The first one is personal pronouns. What is personal pronoun? It can be singular or plural. It can be first person, second person and third person. What is singular form of first person? I, me, my, mine. What is plural form of uh, first person? We, us are us. Now, the second person you, your, yours, you, your, yours. The third person he, she, it and the plural form is they. For example, Sheila is a great singer. She is performing today. My parents are in town. They will visit me day after tomorrow. So, in the Sheila is a proper noun but in place of proper noun in place of this noun when we use another word that is she so she is what is she it's pronoun then here uh, domino's pizza is a great place to eat domino's pizza is a noun and when i say it's right it's right it around the corner it means what's that it's here is pronoun okay now when we uh, see the different kinds of pronoun as i told you personal pronoun uh, earlier it's the same thing it is in place of a particular person or thing for example are you he she they i classified in the previous slide and told you that how it uh, divides into first person, second person and third person. Okay, but <coughs> if someone asks you what is personal pronoun, pronoun, you can say that personal pronouns are used in place of a particular person or things. For example, I, you, he, she, they, it, me. <coughs> I went to the office yesterday. What is a personal pronoun here? I. You called her but she didn't listen. What is the personal pronoun here? You and her. Now next is possessive pronouns. What is possessive pronouns? What is the meaning of possessiveness? Means which belongs to something. To the thing which belongs to someone. That is possessive uh, so, here what is possessive pronouns? The pronouns that show possession are possessive pronouns that defines a person who wants a particular object. For example, mine, your, his, her, its, ours, their, theirs, this book is mine. What is possessive pronoun here? Mine. Are these shoes are yours? What is possessive pronoun here? yours. So, the thing which belongs to someone that uh, with the that noun which shows the position <coughs> of something that is possessive pronoun. So, your, his, her, its, ours, theirs. This is our classroom. That is your room from where you are sitting and watching me. Okay. 
so this is your class or this is our class so that is possessive pronoun now what is demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns which point out to or identifies a noun or a pronoun is known sorry uh, possessive pro the pronouns that show possession are possessive pronouns now we are talking about what is demonstrative pronouns which point out when we point out to a particular person or thing that is demonstrative pronoun for example this that these those these are uh, demonstrative pronouns next is interrogative pronouns what is interrogative pronouns the pronouns which are used to ask questions are known as interrogative questions for example whom who which what which is the best coaching in Luc in lucknow of course it gravity classes so that is uh, interrogative pronoun when we ask question the word which we used to ask questions are known as interrogative questions that is interrogative pronouns next is relative pronouns the fifth one is relative what is relative as it is uh, through the name only you can find out that it tells the relation so relative pronouns are the pronouns which are used to connect one clause and phrase with another clause or phrase for example whom that which whomever whoever etc indefinite pronouns what is indefinite pronouns it refers to an object that we can identify but it is not specific to any person or thing all anybody anything everybody everyone nobody none some somebody etc so that when the the uh, things are not definite then we use indefinite pronouns the word which is used for uh, indefinite indefinite things that is indefinite pronouns for example anybody if i say i met anybody can give the answer it means i am not uh, calling a particular person name i am just asking anyone can give the answer the same way, way if i say nobody is allowed to speak uh, in between the class so that is nobody is the indefinite pronoun because nobody can be all i'm talking about everyone no one is allowed okay that somebody can bring my uh, can, can, somebody can do the homework so somebody means anybody but if i say all the children have to do the homework it means it's must that everyone has to do so this is indefinite pronouns which when which these words are used as indefinite pronouns all anybody anything everybody in place of the name of a person place or things right now the next one seventh one is reflexive pronoun what is reflex reflexive pronoun uh, it refers back to the subject of the sentence for example myself yourself herself himself themselves itself ourselves etc 
I cooked food for myself. Look at yourself. Okay. Now, identify the pronouns and the type of pronoun in the following sentences. These are the questions based on the previous topic that is pronouns. So, I am going home today evening. What is pronoun here? Of course, I. Which pronoun it is? Personal pronoun. Then her aunt will be vacating next week. Which pronoun here? Her. Her is possessive pronoun. Now, she is the girl I was talking to you about. She is personal pronoun. This is the place I, where I found my missing bag. This is the place where I found my missing bag. So, where? Which word is this? Where? There are two sentences. This is the place. It tells about the place that this is the place where I found my missing bag. So, it tells the relation of the second sentence. Which word is telling the relation? between second sentence that is where. So, where is relative pronoun. Did you do it yourself? The what is yourself? When the <coughs> word refers back to the subject that is reflexive pronoun and here did you do it yourself? So, here yourself is reflexive pronoun. It was a time when I was so happy. It was a time is one sentence like I am talking about a time when I was so happy. The other thing when I was so happy. So, which word it is when which tells the relation of the second sentence. So, it, it is relative pronoun. Now, yesterday was their wedding anniversary. Yesterday was their wedding anniversary. Their wedding anniversary means it is possessive pronoun their. There are two types of there. One T H E R E there. It shows the place when when we talk about the place. Then there T H E R E there and T H E I R there, which shows the position. Children always they get confused and when they have to write T H E R E there, they sometimes write this spelling and when they need to write this T H E I R, they write T H E R E. So make it very clear that you should not make mistake in spellings otherwise your sentence your sentence or your meaning will get change now has everyone completed the work that was assigned for today has everyone completed the work that was assigned for today? What is pronoun here? Everyone. Just now I told you everyone, somebody, someone, anybody. So, which uh, pronoun it is? You have seen? This is indefinite. When we are not definite about anything, that is indefinite. All, anybody, anything, everybody. The same thing is there. When I ask a question uh, that has everyone completed the work that was assigned, means I am not talking about a particular person. I am talking about anyone so, or everyone. So, that is indefinite pronoun. That dog down the street is his. That demonstrative because I am talking about a particular dog that that dog when I pointed out that dog down the street is his. His is what is his is possessive pronoun because the it is his to, to the particular person. All my friends are coming home for my parents 25th wedding anniversary celebration. What is all my friends? All is indefinite, indefinite pronoun, but my friends is possessive pronoun. So, all my friends, my friends is possessive pronoun are coming home for my parents. My parents again because that belongs to me, my parents. So, that is possessive. Uh, 
parents 25th wedding anniversary celebration. Now next is what is third parts of a speech which is most important that is verb and you have to learn verb very well because uh, when you know the verb you can write the correct tenses also the correct sentences because verb is the main part of the tenses verbs are words that denote an action that is being performed by the noun or the subject in a sentence they are also called action words for example read set garnish calm pitch or in in uh, uh, just easy language you can say that doing word or action words are called verb like she plays cricket every day what is verb here plays Darshana and Arul are going to the movies. What is verb here? Are going. My friends visited me last week. What is verb here? Visited. Did you have your breakfast? What is verb here? Have. Now kinds of verb. There are different kinds of verb. Linking verbs, helping verbs, auxiliary verbs regular verb irregular verb transitive verb intransitive verb we have to learn a lot we have to study a lot so what is regular verb regular verbs are verbs whose past forms and past participle forms are formed by adding d or ed at the end of the word why did i pronounce here at the end why didn't i say at the end because when E and D uh, it comes, the end comes before the oh. before the wall, that time we have to use end. Okay, we will not pronounce it end, we will say end at the end of the word uh, ask asked asked clean cleaned cleaned answer answered answered so this is the different forms of the verbs this is regular verb which is divided into three forms which is main form like base form first form then second form and third form these three forms of the verbs you have to learn for the tenses also then irregular verbs irregular verbs are which do not have their past and past participles for example go did done do did done have had had now what is linking verbs Linking verbs are irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are which do not have their past and past participles. Uh, that is also go did done, do did done, have had had. These are the linking verbs. Okay. Now what is transitive verb and intransitive verb? This is little bit confusing but you have to make it clear. The transitive verb, a verb that needs an object to complete itself is known as transitive verb. It needs an object. For example, the batsman hits the ball. Here the subject batsman hits the object ball. So hits is a transitive verb. The action of the verb passes from the subject to the object. He loves his parrot. The teacher teaches the students so he loves his par parrot what is <coughs> uh, verb here loves the teacher teaches teaches is the verb so transitive verb is the verb which needs an object he loves his parrot me means the what is object here parrot
not intransitive verb what is intransitive verb a verb that needs an object to complete itself is called an intransitive verb transitive verb needs an object but intransitive verb doesn't need an object so okay a verb that needs an object to complete itself is called an intransitive verb the action of the verb does not pass from the subject to the object for example we sleep at night in this section action sleep does not pass from the subject we to any object they go they laugh do they have these sentences uh, when i say they go they laugh i'm not talking about the object so intransitive verb when you are not getting object but transitive verb when you get the object that is called transitive and intransitive verb now next is infinitive verb what is infinitive two plus verb okay and it shows so it's, it's listen what infinitive verb you have to uh, know very well because many questions based on it comes in the board also and infinitive verb is a verb which has to before it for example to go to laugh to follow it shows the purpose so you have to work hard why you have to work hard to pass in the entrance entrance of what entrance of amu entrance of jamia entrance of bhu so you have to work hard if you want to achieve something you have to work hard so this infinitive verb it shows the purpose you have to trust in god okay now what is helping verbs helping helping verb is a verb that comes before the main verb in a sentence it is also known as an auxiliary verb they change their forms according to the tense of the sentence for example the verbs to be are am is are was were being been will be the verbs to have are has had have having will have the verbs to do are does do did will do the sixth one is modal verbs modal what is modal verbs modal verbs there are specific few words are there can could may might will would shall should must ought to the modal verbs never change their forms according to the tense for example they like they express the idea such as capacity when we use i can teach english or you can listen to me it means it shows the capacity possibility obligation permission then supposition request or desire he can read all the poems i may be late today you must visit a doctor if you feel pain i may be late today so here the possibility the word may shows the possibility in the same way you must visit a doctor if you feel pain means it shows the necessity so uh, the word can could could i could i uh, uh, could i ask you something or may i come in when i say in place of uh, can i come in so may i come in why do we say may i come in why can't we say can i come in because may is more polite it shows politeness so we should always use the politeness right that's why we say may i come in may i enter may i finish this work like uh, can can shows the capacity and might possibility will put what it shows supposition shall should must obligation necessity or to is also obligation 
Now what is auxiliary verbs? Auxiliary verbs are used to decide the tense of the sentence. Some of the sentences are given below. I am reading a book that is present continuous tense. I am reading a book. Well, what is the main verb here? Reading and read is the main verb. So the reading is present participle and am is auxiliary verb. So auxiliary verb helps to make the tenses. We shall go to the market. We shall go is the main verb but shall is auxiliary verb. Okay, so these auxiliary verbs are the helping verbs which helps to decide the tense of the sentence. Now read the following sentences and select the correct form of the verb given in brackets. Rita dash a mile every day. Rita what Rita does? Rita runs or Rita run? What is correct here? Of course Rita runs. When the sub subject is singular, we don't use S or ES with the verb in present tense. So here Rita runs. The dogs dash all night, barks or bark. What is barks or bark? Because dogs plural, that is main rule that if the subject is plural, we have to use the base form of the verb. We don't use S or ES with the verb in simple present tense and this sentence is belongs to the simple present tense. So the dogs bark all night. The cat the snake. The cat caught the snake or cat catch the snake. Of course it can't be catch because ES is not given here. So it is caught. The cat caught the snake because cat is singular. So if cat catches the snake if I say it should be ES. So it is clear that the cat catch the snake. Then we dash in the park in the evenings. We play or we plays. We play in the park in the evenings because we is plural. So with the plural form we don't use as or ears with the present tense. Mia dashed to school yesterday. Mia went to school. Now what is Sheila? To be a police officer when she grows up. Sheila of course Sheila is singular so want or wants what is correct one of course wants Sheila wants to be a police officer then Mahesh back to his mother Mahesh ran back to his mother or Mahesh run definitely not run because S is not given here so what is the correct one Mahesh ran back to his mother Amy very fast Amy walks very fast it shows the present tense, simple present tense. Now next is you can come with us or you can, you came with us. You can, with can is there. This is also you have to remember when we use the modal verbs, we have to use the base form of the verb. We will not change the form of the verb, right? So because these words when we are using, no need to change the form of the verb. So you can come with us. Then they dash to a picnic together. They went to a picnic together or go to a picnic together. They went. We dash a great time in Shimla. See, this is PYQ, previous year question. We were a great time in Shimla. We had, of course, had. We had a great time in Shimla. There are four and uh, options are given you have to choose the correct one and the correct one is had he dash cake on his birthday of course he cut cake on his birthday not uh, it, he cuts or he cut it or cutting of course not cut it never ever you use this cut it and cutting this is there is no any word like this okay 
it can be cuts or it can be cut it is you held guilty it is you is or were has which one is correct one it is you were held guilty what is the correct option many a man not know his own good deeds many a man of course when singular form uh, is there man is there it means we have to use does many a man does not know his own good deeds do have has there are four options you have to these are given the in the previous year 2011 to 12 10 and 11 6 and 7 okay because today i joined late now i finish the lesson here only in the next class so i'll start from adverb and kinds of adverbs so parts of a speech i'll try to finish in two classes and then we have we will start the tenses so get ready you do need to do the practice if any query is there you can write a message and ask okay i am ready to answer you but don't go with the doubts thank you